I didn't know I was recording, I'm trying to get this camera set up. Anyhow, wanted y'all to know this is the time for us to be strong, because uh, the hour is upon us. The hour is definitely upon us. I'm looking for this to happen any moment. I'm constantly seeing things while I'm driving. Names changing. It's like right out in your open. Right in the open. You can't. It's like hard to believe. It's there and nobody sees it. Check this out. I know we don't have much more time. You know, you got to forget everything that Hollywood ever showed you. The movies. Because what's going to happen to us says the moment, the twinkling of the eye, we're going to be here one minute, and we're going to be there the next, the next moment, and it's at hand, there's nothing that I can see why it should be delayed any further, I mean, everything, the Bible's been, a lot of words changed. There's probably going to be a lot more change before it's over. But, uh, I look at it as a reference from time to time. I had my left blinker on, I didn't know it. <clears throat> but, uh, just a quick reference, because I know that, uh, a lot of stuff's been changed in there. A lot. And you know where they say the tires will be up on your head and the mufflers? Man, I've been seeing mufflers on the highway all day today. Tires all over the nation. I'm in uh, Nashville now, Tennessee. Passing through, I'm on my way to Texas, to uh, Laredo. <coughs> I got about 16 more hours, and I'll be in Laredo, I think, maybe 15. Got a long drive. The night's the worst part. I figured I'd videotape this before it gets too dark. But, uh, I wanted to encourage you guys. It's gonna happen any time. These changes that we're seeing, we're very blessed to see that. Because there's a lot of people that don't see it. And they really don't even notice the change. Because it's said in the end time that they love they love the lies. They love to have their ears tickled. We need to be ready to go. And uh, you have to have a passion. And it's all about Jesus Christ too. You know, if you don't hear people saying Jesus Christ, giving glory to Him, you got to be careful. Another thing I've been warning people, all these guys sitting behind their cameras, and you can see all these idols, statues, Mother Mary, a lot of statues and idols and things, you know, books, uh, there are awards, things that are prideful. Those are all red flags. Remember this, Jesus said those that have the least here will have the most there. Now, I didn't think of that when I walked away from everything here. I tried to keep my business going, but over a period of a few years, you know, it, it put me under. But I believe that was the will of the Lord anyhow. 
because this is what he wanted me to do, travel and report what I've been seeing. <coughs> I don't, I've been trying to testify to Continue people. Continue on I-40 West for 173 miles. But today, it seems like people don't want to hear it. They just don't want to hear it. And I don't think they can. It's like, it's like they know what I'm talking about, but yet, it's like as if they can't. As if they're, we've been separated. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say we can go any time now. I know it's this year for sure. I'm looking for it to be any moment. You know, but until we do go, I'm going to keep doing videos and uh, keep reporting everything that I see. <laughs> Another person that I like watching is Joseph, an advocate for Jesus. He's very humble and he's a very good watchman. <clears throat> and he's not set up looking for, you know, donations and stuff like that. Now, I also listen to Spirit of Blessing, okay? I like listening to her. She does set up a channel where she's trying to help other people. And, uh, yeah, I hope she's not being misled by anybody. There's a lot of deception out there. But her heart's in the right place. And, uh, you know, there's not too many people that I trust on there. I do watch the Grow Text one because uh, he points out a lot of the signs on the earth, the things that I see. And uh, so I believe he's doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing too. You know, that's G-R-O-X-T-1. Check that out. He's got some pretty interesting stuff. And he always gives glory and honor to the Lord Jesus Christ. That's most important. If you don't hear people giving honor, glory to Jesus Christ, be very, very, uh, nobody goes to the Father but through Jesus. Remember that. Okay? Remember that. That's very important. All I think about is Jesus. Yeah, that's all I think about. The Son of God. And uh, with that being said, and we're about out of here. We are about out of here. You guys feel a little discouraged in these end times here? I'm going to ask you to remember this. Remember that last mile Jesus carried that cross up there on Calvary Hill when he was crucified. Okay? Just remember that. He didn't back down. He could have. He didn't. And we need to be the same way. You know what I mean? Jesus said be bold. Bold as we ought to be. One thing that sticks to my mind is when I was <coughs> with Mike one time, because remember I said these demons can host people, literally host them like a puppet. He looked at me one day and he goes, I know you would destroy me if you were able to do it. You would destroy me, I know it. And I looked at him and inside me I knew that was a demonic demon. That's why I said, whatever we're going through around other people, not that person, it's what's in that person. That's why Jesus said to forgive them. Forgive them. Okay? It's important to forgive them. But the demon that's hosting them, you know, just call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you'd be surprised how much power you have. Because he redeemed us by his blood. been driving all day. I'll be driving all night tonight. 
probably do most of tomorrow just to get down to Laredo. I'll have my head hanging out the window. God bless y'all. Like I said, do you remember what our Lord went through for us? Okay? And don't give up. You know, that's the last thing you want to do. Do not give up. This is the time that we need to be strong. We're almost getting ready to leave. Remember that. God bless you. Be with the Holy Spirit. And put on the full armor of God. And carry that sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Don't deny the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you.